Afternoon guys, it's James. We have been working today on this BMW 1 Series. It's a 2012 and Richard's been working hard to fit the Bimatec CarPlay system. So the reason why we fit this bit of kit is we've tried and tested a lot of other CarPlay stuff aftermarket and it's a bit mediocre. Um, because we've got an excellent reputation, we are only going to be fitting the very best so that it gives you as seamless integration as we possibly can. Now, this is a 2012 model. I'm just going to jump in. Sorry for the camera wobble. So 2012, and it's a, obviously it's a non-touch screen. It's a standard six and a half inch system. If uh, Richard just switches the radio on, you'll find it's the, um, it is obviously it's iDrive. So you've got the iDrive navigation system down here. And once you go into here, like so, you've got the standard screen, or we did have until it's been switched over automatically to CarPlay. So let's just go back out of there. Right, so. Standard system. Now, this particular car doesn't have any of the mod cons that you would get. You've got the standard scroll up and down. So you've got um, the radio, you've got CD, you've probably got USB, and uh, you've also got auxiliary. Um, as, I don't even know it's got a DAB, is it this one? So no DAB, just your standard FM. So let's just scroll back out of there, go back to your main menu. Uh, and this is a very familiar system, but again, standard six and a half inch system. So Rich is now going to press and hold the menu button, and that's going to then switch over to the CarPlay. Now, because CarPlay and how it integrates with a car of this age, it's the same as plugging in um, another device. I don't know, a, a DVD player into your TV at home. It's a, it's like an AV audio video um, input. And that's how it switches over. So it's just flicking over. He set it up to work on a right-hand drive vehicle. So the controls are on this side here. And then he's just going to show you some basic features and functions that the CarPlay does. Now this follows on from the videos that we have done. Uh, we've done recently um, BMW i8. We've also done a Porsche kit. And the more we do out of these sort of nicer cars, the more we're gonna do videos so that you can see it all physically working in a car like yours, rather than just saying, yeah, it'll look similar. Okay, so let's just go to, um, let's go to Spotify first. Okay, so familiar interface for the Spotify. Uh, we won't judge Richard on what he's been listening to recently. Oh no, that's okay, he's got a suntan right there, so that's fine. So lots of different options, um, and Spotify in your car just means that now, rather than having a CD player or a six CD player, you've now got uh, everything and anything that you want to listen to. Okay, let's go back out of that to the main menu. On the right hand side, you've got your quick menu. So we've got uh, telephone and Spotify and Google Maps. If we can go to Google Earth. Okay, go to up there. There we go. So you've instantly transformed this car. Because it's 2012 or didn't come spec with the sat nav, etc., etc., or was an expensive add on, we've now got Google Maps with Street View, uh, with um, Satellite View, and that makes all the difference in terms of where we are. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, uh, and it suddenly brings this car into the 21st century in a very big, big way, and it's really handy to see. You can scroll in and put your stuff in there. Um, do you have Waze on here, Richard? No. Okay, so um, if you're using Waze or you're using Google Earth, either way, you've got sat nav and it gives you everything that you need. So let's go out of there. Um, now, WhatsApp, you can go and you can do Hey Siri. Um, and again, if you are then, you can do voice control with the microphone to allow you to um, reply to messages, etc., etc. Okay, so that's just waiting for a command. Have we got any audio there? Is it turned down? It's probably turned down at the moment. Let's just see if that's gonna go on there. And Siri not available. Ah, okay, it might be because the phone's not connected. So at the moment, this is connected to the car wirelessly. Uh, Richard has got his phone plugged in, but that's just for charging um, purposes because his battery 
is nearly depleted. So this is wireless CarPlay. You can have wired for the longer journeys, which also means that you've got a little bit more of a stable connection and you've got your phone charging. And Richard's um, popped the USB stick in the glove box for ease of use and so that it doesn't get uh, trodden on or etc. etc. So yes, this is the BMW 1 Series 2012 6.5 inch standard iDrive and we've now transformed and upgraded this car to have wireless and wired CarPlay Bimatech system. If you've got a car like this um, and you want to bring it into the 21st century, get in touch with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, etc. etc. And uh, you can send us a contact form or go onto our website. It's www.advanced-incar.co.uk. And uh, thanks and have a good day.